Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another rare plant haul. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven house plants to show you today and two of them are not small. So I'm not really going to give it a certain order. I'm just going to kind of mix it up. There are a few plants, by the way, in this plant haul that I've never actually owned before in terms of types of plants. So I'm really, really excited to actually be able to show you them. So let's just get into it. As usual, guys, links are in the description and I'm actually going to start with one of these smaller plants I picked up and that is this Diffenbachia camouflage but it is tiny let me just show you I've got a little bit of soil on there you see that there lovely little variegation oh, there's a new leaf coming in it's just super small baby plant I mean I think that's like what a nine centimeter pot I think that I've popped it in just really really sweet really 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 sweet Obviously, this is going to be a while until it gets a bit larger, but as I've said before, I don't really mind. I'm quite happy to get smaller plants right now because it does mean I can still get new varieties in and I can have more plants, but not necessarily take up as much space. So these are really, really good for that. Moving on. Oh, no. Moving on. We have a rather small type of ginger. I do believe this is, I think it's called Zingabar dancing crane or something similar if i've got the name of this wrong obviously i will have put the correct name at the bottom of the screen so trust whatever is at the bottom of the screen but it's really really nice it's got some lovely variegation on it will you focus please there we go really really pretty white variegation on it very unusual for me to keep this but i thought i'd give it a go see if i like it see how it turns out as i say we will see what happens at the moment though i quite like it my third and final small plant is the beautiful, very, very cute Philodendron Prince of Orange. Now, this is probably the smallest Philodendron I think I own. It's really sweet though. Again, this is the same size uh, pot as the other two I've just shown you. It's just a little baby plug there. It's so cute though. Look at that. Oh, it's so adorable. Just really, really, really nice orange leaves. It's very, very cute. I will insert a picture right here of what a more mature philodendron Prince of Orange looks like. They are very, very striking beasts when they grow, uh, but I kind of like the excitement of growing it from something really, really small. So that is my third little baby plant. Right, ooh. Should I just scale them up in size? I feel like that might be a cool way of doing it this time. I'm looking at two really large plants here, and then I'm looking at one plant and another plant there. Yeah, you know what? Okay, so the next plant I have to haul was on my wish list for quite a long period of time. How long was this? It's been on there for a few months, I think, but I they, these things are hard to track down. Let me tell you, I have looked high and low and it is very difficult to just generally find these at the moment. So I'm very, very pleased to announce I have finally found the wonderful, the beautiful Alocasia Black Velvet. Oh my God. I think this is also known as the Alocasia, is it Renigula? It is literally the most just luscious thing ever. I'm trying not to get soil all over my house. Just look at that, man. I always think that the leaves on this, like the, the pattern on the leaves actually reminds me a little bit of like tread on a tire. I don't know why. Just they remind me of car tire patterns on the leaves. But as the name would suggest, these leaves do feel quite velvety. They're very, very fleshy and succulent. So to be honest, I would suggest that these guys are probably reasonably easy to care for compared to maybe some other alocasia out there, just due to the fact that I think they're more succulent in nature. So I'm pretty sure this won't need watering as much. I do own an alocasia silver dragon as well. And I've already found that that alocasia seems to need less water than a lot of my other ones, such as my stingray or my zebrina, even the copria, I think. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. It is just adorable. Just, oh, I'm going to show you it again. Just because it's so just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see these plants very well. I will do my best. Perhaps I can just pop that there. My next plant is actually in the side of the frame here. It's that big cream looking mass. I will just grab it. Give me one moment. So this next plant I have to show you guys is a type of plant I've actually wanted to get into for quite some time, just because they remind me a lot of alocasia, colocasia, all that sort of thing. They look incredible. They come in beautiful colors. They are quite delicate from what I'm currently feeling of this plant. So I I, I don't know what care tips are actually going to be like for this, but I would like to introduce you to my first ever Caladium. Can you just take a minute? I'm going to have to move this alocasia because it's just going to have to sit next to me because I think this does require a head test, mainly because that leaf is clearly bigger than my head. There you go. This is, what is this? It's actually the tags in here still. Yeah, I thought so. 
This is the Caladium White Queen. There are many, many Caladium out there. Yes, I will do a rare plant index. Uh, it's in the pipeline, don't worry. But it's just, oh my goodness, it does have some new growth. I don't know if you can see it here on camera. There, it's got some new growth. I mean, just look at it. Are you serious? Are you serious? So, as you may or may not be able to tell, this Caladium is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's going to live in my bedroom just because I feel like it's very bedroomy, it's very white. So I'm going to keep it literally right here where you saw it in the frame, so you may or may not see this more often in the front of my videos. I kind of need to figure out what I'm doing with this whole dressing table because I have a new bunch of plants coming in and I would like to really vamp it up, but I think this is definitely a contender to keep on this side of the desk. I still need to put a couple on this side of the desk, so actually, if you have any ideas, let me know. Uh, preferably smaller plants or taller plants that I may or may not have. Um, do let me know if you can think of anything that I could put there. That would be great. But this has definitely stole the show to have on my dressing table so I can see it every morning when I wake up because this is unbelievable. I didn't actually think that Caladium even got this big. I actually thought they were way smaller, almost like the, the you know the black velvet type size. I had no idea. Stunning, stunning plant. Now I am gonna move this back into the frame because I may or may not need this space. All right then, two plants left. Which one shall I pick? Okay, I'm gonna go with this one first. Let me pick it up. Mm. Okay, so this next plant I don't think I actually knew about. I've only just come to know about it quite recently. I'm not sure how popular it is yet. I don't know. Um, it's a philodendron. It is it is variegated, but just not in the way you'd expect. I don't think it's more mottled, the variegation. It almost looks like it's been splashed. But this is, if I can get it up, this is the philodendron, what is it? Philodendron golden dragon. I don't know why I forgot that for a second there. I'm trying to approach the camera with the philodendron so you can actually see what it is, what is going on. It's the growth pattern there. Don't know if that's actually coming off on camera, my apologies. This is very, very, very difficult to show. I'm just probably just going to keep it on that leaf, you know. There, how amazing. This gets harder every time. Okay, head test, right, so there. So it's not it's not a small plant, it's, it's a big plant. It's still a juvenile, I would say. These things can get like, get pretty big. So I'm very much looking forward to that. As I say, the variegation on this, I'll try once more to show you, there. The variegation is a little bit more mottled. It's not your usual variegation that you see, but I actually really, really like this. To me, this is very different from the Florida Ghost or the Florida Beauty or any other similar types of philodendron, mainly because of the variegation and the shape. I find the shape to be very, very different as well. When I got this plant, it did actually have like part of the plant was kind of like crawling downwards from the pot. So I've actually cut it and I've taken cuttings already. So stay tuned for that. So I'm very, very excited to see how this one grows. It's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it will just shoot away. As I say, there's a new leaf clearly gonna pop out here very soon. So that's very exciting as well. But this one is very, very nice. This is the Philodendron Golden Dragon. There we go. Would you say that was in the background? Yep, yeah, pretty much, that'll do. I need my phone out for the last plant because I've forgotten the name. Give me one moment. The reason why I need my phone out is because this plant was labelled as a hybrid of two philodendrons, but at some point along the way, I'm not sure when this was reclassified, but it's actually been reclassified as something that isn't even a philodendron anymore. So it's actually just a different type of plant, I guess. I don't know, I was only looking this up very shortly before this video because I actually just thought this was a philodendron of some description. I didn't really know when I picked it up. Let me grab it and let me tell you what it actually is, right? Let me make sure I know what the hybrid is. So this plant here, Okay, I'll just try and get it in the frame the best I can. This plant here was previously known as a hybrid between Philodendron Cellum and Philodendron Goldii. However, it has since been changed and recognized as a different plant, so it's no longer recognized as a Philodendron. And it is recognized as a Thaumatophyllum African Fantasy. So I guess it is not a Philodendron. And to be honest, the way it grows, like the growth pattern, it kind of doesn't look like a Philodendron anyway. The, the growth pattern's like very straight and it's just not, I don't know how to describe it. It just, it doesn't remind me of a philo the way that it does grow. It does strike me as being a little bit different. This plant here doesn't seem to have that growth pattern at all. I will do my best to show you what I'm talking about, but I don't know how easy this is gonna be. So if I can show you that there in the bottom, I'm so sorry if this doesn't work. I'm gonna have the rest of the leaf on the top of the camera. Can you see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't seem to grow like you would expect a philodendron to grow, if that makes any sense. But I will try and show you the leaf the best I can. Hopefully I don't screw up my mic doing this, but if I just grab that, because it's huge, by the way. If you didn't already guess, the leaves are like this fantastical shape. Look at that. 
How amazing is that? I'll quickly do a head test before I move on. If I just pull this one down, is that the biggest leaf? Maybe. So yeah, like this one ain't screwing around at all, is it really? This is absolutely huge. But I picked it up because I just liked the shape of it, to be honest. I just thought, oh, that's an interesting looking philodendron, do you know what I mean? I, I had no idea that this was different, but it's very pretty. I don't believe it has any type of variegation or anything like that. We're literally just looking at the shape of the leaves. However, the listing I have here is actually from NSC Tropicals, and it says it is a hybrid between what is previously known as philodendron cellum and philodendron goldii. It is very interestingly shaped leaves. This hybrid has a leaf shape somewhere between a spiderweb and fireworks. No two leaves are alike. The leaves are held atop long petioles and this phyllo is a great specimen plant in the tropical garden. So that doesn't make any sense to me because they've said phyllo on the end, but I kind of see what they are saying about different shaped leaves because we have this little cute one here. I'll try and put my hand behind it so you can see. We have this little leaf here. This one is similar. In fact, it's not that similar. This one has more frilling around that leaf. This one is obviously the one I've shown you. This one here is much fatter, I think, in appearance. And then we have another one back here. Like they're all very, very different, but God, they're cool. They're so awesome. I think this could be one of my favorites apart from the Caladium. It's really, really hard to tell. I still like the Golden Dragon as well. So I'm kind of torn in between these two and the Caladium and the Alocasia. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really pick a favorite, but these are my new plans for this week. Yes, I'm getting very full up. No, I don't know what to do. I'm on the edge of a breakdown. I'm clearly gonna have to get rid of some older plants that I no longer enjoy, as I've mentioned before. So you might be able to expect an anti-haul coming in the next few weeks. I don't really know. So that is all the plants that I actually have to show you guys. I think next week's video will most definitely be a Monstera video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the video that I promised you guys on the difference between Ansonii and Oblica. That video should be up next Friday and then the following Friday after that may or may not be a Monstera rare plant index. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do let me know, you know which plant is your favorite. If you have any care tips for, I think mainly the Caladium is the plant that I'm interested in care tips for. If you have any care tips for that, then please do let me know. If you'd like to see any updates on any of these plants, then feel free to follow my Instagram at Let's Work My Plants. Similarly, if you'd like to see any more videos like this or any other videos I do, then please consider subscribing. It really, really helps. And I guess the same as last time, I will leave you with that little something something on the end because you guys seem to really, really enjoy that. So here you go. Roll it. Goodbye. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.